I was I was at the beach the other day and I had on a I had on a long sleeve shirt and I had on a sweatshirt and I had on my hat <laughs> and I was very cold because it's February and there were some teenage girls down there in their bathing suits <laughs> and they were playing volleyball and, and they went in the water swimming. <laughs> and I thought, it's February, but you know what? That They were very inspirational to me because I thought, you know what? Those girls have the right attitude. They're at the beach. They're going in the water, right? It doesn't matter that it's February. So I thought, why should I wait till March to kick off the new season of Sands in the Surf? That's right. It's been warm the last couple of days here, right? And I'm ready to go fishing. <laughs> I can't wait till March. Usually I wait till March. I can't wait till March. Come on, let's go fishing. Sometimes people ask me, Sans, do you plan out your videos? And yeah, you know, I kind of do, very loosely. And this is my plan from last year. And these are the videos that are crossed out are the ones I actually accomplished. And there's some I missed, like I didn't get out and target trout. I never caught a king mackerel from the surf, but there's still time this year. And speaking of this year, look, these are the places I plan to get out on the water and kind of start look at the charts, thinking of places I want to go out on the boat. And, uh, and some of the videos I planned out, like fishing at the Folly River, March Madness, what's that? Fly fishing too. 2.0 yeah we're gonna try some fly fishing in the surf this year and we're gonna try sharks in the icw i wonder if there are sharks in the icw <laughs> we're gonna try to find out and night fishing i went night fishing once and i caught a shark but it wasn't in the icw oh and fish burgers matter of fact i might do that this video <laughs> so it is february but it okay it's the end of february it's like there's like two more days and then it'll be march but still the uh, usually last year anyway it was really kind of cold in march and and the fishing really didn't pick up till april but i went out on friday and i just went down with some frozen shrimp that's all I had and I thought let me you know let me just try it it was a beautiful week uh you know it was in the 70s and then of course Saturday <laughs> it's raining and cold again but I did get out Friday afternoon and I caught some puffer so hey there's March March puffer and these were big puffer look at that fatty citation puffer right there and yeah I did put him in the bucket and because I thought I'm going to catch a couple of puffer here so he's going in the buff puff it up puff it up baby look at him he's going in the bucket and I'm going to try to catch a couple more while I'm at it Again, like I said, I didn't even have any fresh shrimp. Uh, Clems is closed in the winter. They're going to open up soon, I guess. So it might be a little while before I get some fresh shrimp. But I'm like, yeah, I can use the frozen shrimp. These fish look hungry. And, and they were. And I was actually surprised because not only was I catching puffer, but I was catching a, kind of a, a, a plethora of, of fish for this type of year, especially. I was actually really surprised. Um, I, here's a little whiting, right? He, too, too small to keep, but still a whiting nonetheless. So I got some puffer. I got a whiting and so I let him go of course it's swim off swim off strong little whiting there you go not the wrong way there you go <laughs> we'll get him later maybe next year um but I did catch uh this one right here was very surprising to me especially on a frozen shrimp uh, I got a hit and I pulled it in and I was like what it, what is it? it feels a little different and it's not a puffer for sure and it was a bluefish and I'm like well bluefish in February that's now he was teeny tiny um but uh, but anyway uh, very interesting to be able to catch puffer whiting and bluefish and so so my catch and release skills there. Look at that. Very technical. <laughs> and then the other thing that surprised me was I'm, I'm walking the beach. It was low tide. It was Friday afternoon, low tide. And I saw the yabby holes. And I was like, that is active. Look at this hole. This hole right here. Look at that. That's an active yabby hole. There's a yabby down there. And I didn't have my yabby pump. And I'm like, you know, forget this frozen shrimp. If I had my yabby pump, I'd be pumping up some yabbies. So I think I'm going to come back down tomorrow <laughs> and try that. But they were hitting pretty good. I mean, I went from Friday from like four to five. And I got this another bluefish right here. So I must have hit a little pocket of them. And then the other rod went. So I was like, Kim, can you get on it? Can you pull it in over there? And she pulled in this little black drum. Now, again, these fish are all small. The whiting was small. The blues are small. And this little black drum is small. But still, to be catching all these cool fish in the surf in February. Uh, very cool. So he, he got to get released back into the ocean as well. And then finally... Finally, <laughs> I got a nice little hit, and I was like, oh, that, that feels a little better right there. You can see the rod bend. I always feel good when I pull the rod back, and it's, and it's pulling back. <laughs> you know, I'm pulling the reel one way, and, and the fish is pulling it the other way. That's always a good feeling, as opposed to puffer, which just like, it's like pulling in a football. You know, there's <laughs> just no fight at all, but great to eat. But here was a little whiting, and I'm like, hey, this is a little bit better. And I'm trying to measure him here. I'm trying to make him 12 inches. <laughs> he was, and he was about 11, but, but still 11-inch uh, whiting. And then I caught a speckle crab. So how, look at this, like I said, a plethora of different species that uh, might catch and release for him too. He can go back into the water. 
So I had a good time. I think the fish had a good time. And Bailey had an excellent time because she got to chase the ball. That dog can run. <laughs> like how far? She's halfway down the beach. She went to the point. <laughs> Okay, our next stop, the Solar Brewing Company. Yeah, the Solar Brewing Company, Solar Brewing Company, opened up on the island. And yeah, they do brew their own beer in here. And they have a lot of different solar brewing. Look, there's the brewing stuff right there. The big vats is so shiny. <laughs> they have, And they have a limited menu with some fun things. They did have some wings, and I thought about getting the wings. And I also thought about getting the giant pretzel, because who doesn't like a giant pretzel, which I did get it at a later time, and it was really good. Uh, but Kim wanted to get some. I'll show you in a minute what we're going to get. But anyway... Got the beer, the Solar Brewing beer. Uh, I got the IPA. Kim got um, a beer. <laughs> I don't know what kind it is. The only complaint I've heard about this place is that the um, the service can be a little slow. And you know what? It's not their fault. Everybody has slow service on the island because nobody wants to work. What's up with that? You know, you know. Seriously, it's hard. It's been hard for these companies, these local companies, to get to get people who want to come in and work uh, in, in the restaurants and stuff like that. So if you need a job, you believe me, you can get one here on the island. So we decided to get the pizza, and I thought I'd just put a little bit of pepper flakes on it, and it was really good. Kim was like, this is really good pizza. So we've been back twice, and we got the pizza both times when we went. So if you get a chance, stop over there, Solar Brewing, pick up a beer, pick up a pizza, you won't be disappointed. All right, so now, Saturday, I said, I'm going to bring my Yabby Pump down to the beach this time, and I wore my waders, too, because last time my feet got all wet. I'm like, I need to wait out at low tide. So I got my Yabby Pump down there, and I start looking, and I see the holes, and I'm like, I'm going to pull me up some Yabbies, and lo and behold, there were some Yabbies in those Yabby holes. It's February, and the Yabbies are out. Great. I need some fresh bait, uh, and I can't be <laughs> frozen shrimps. Well, it really did work well. <laughs> but this is going to work better. It's fresh yabbies. So I'm put them in the bucket. And I'll tell you something. When I'm doing yabbies, I don't, I'm not greedy about it. I don't get a whole bunch. I got a couple here in the bucket. I only put on, even though I use a double drop rig, I only put a yabby on one. So I'll put a yabby on one. I'll put the shrimp on the others. And even though I have two rods, usually I'll just use one with the yabby because the yabbies get hit. Now you got to have the magic thread. So what I do is I put the yabby on there with his good chewy parts in, by the hook. And I just wrap up his tail, which is hard and crunchy. And then I wrap up his head, which is hard and crunchy. <laughs> around the top of the, the shaft of the hook so the gooey ooey part is on the hook and that's what the fish are going to hit so I got the Abby. I'm ready to go. I, and sometimes I'll only fish with one rod because I know that Abby's going to get hit so quick that I don't have time to put <laughs> even put bait on the other rod. Like as soon as it hits the water, boom, there's a fish on. And I got a fish on and I'm pulling them up and I'm thinking to myself, eh, it doesn't feel very big. I was expecting huge whiting, huge puffer or something. And oh yeah, double header. <laughs> this is a disappointment. What a waste of yabbies. The yabby was bigger than this fish. <laughs> Wasting yabbies on this. <laughs> oh my gosh. One thing I have learned is if you hit a pocket of croaker, it's best to just move on. And I did. I walked down the beach. I set up again. I said, I got to get away from those croaker. So I went way down the beach and <laughs> I caught with my abbies again, uh, another croaker. So I'm like, all right, obviously <laughs> I haven't gotten far enough away from the croaker. So I decided I will move again. So I continued to walk down the beach even further. And I set up one more time, put another yabby on. And this time, not not only did I catch a croaker, but I caught a big chunk of seaweed too. And I hate when the seaweed comes in. It makes it very difficult to fish in the surf. And it does happen in the spring. There'll be a lot. Now there are ways to get around it. If you hold it, usually the, the seaweed is in the, in the surf at the very beginning of the surf. So if you kind of wade out a little bit or you hold your rod up a lot, it's one way to, uh, to get around it. But then you really have to kind of hold your rod the whole time and not be lazy and put it in a fish holder. <laughs> so I decided finally, let me move one more time. And I saw a really nice hole right like this big hole right where I'm pointing to and a lot of movement of water now it was low tide so I didn't think there'd be any fish in that hole but I thought there's going to be fish right outside of it so I'm going to cast right outside of that hole and and hope that that's going to work and I'm going to get something other than these croaker that I've been catching one after another and using up all my good yabbies on them which is a waste <laughs> I can catch croaker on anything so I went way out there cast it real far and it was just a minute before I had a hit and I'm like yeah that rod's bending I've got myself a good fish 
fish. So I'm going to reel this puppy in. And I think my little secret there to get me on the hole is working. And this is not a croaker this time. I'm really hoping it's not a croaker. As I pull it in, I start to see it wiggling. I'm like, nah, it's a whiting. It's a nice little whiting too. Um, and, and probably about the same size as the one I caught the other day, about 11, maybe 12 inches. I'm not as fat as I would have liked. They're a little thin, but, uh, but still a whiting. And that's what I was trying to get with some nice fish instead of catching crappy <laughs> <laughs> crappy crappies <laughs> anyway he's going back in the water because uh, i've got a bucket of fish at home and i'm going to go cook some dinner uh, like right now so there's a little catch and release you swim back come back and see you later and that was about it it was raining i packed it up i had a bucket of puffer and the other wagon i caught the other day so i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna make some uh, some fish burgers all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this um chopped up puffer fish which ian has filleted and chopped for us. I'm very excited about this because I love puffer. So I'm gonna do a little bit of lettuce. I'm sorry, can you read? Can yeah, you read go it? ahead, part two. A little bit of celery. A little bit of celery. A little bit of green pepper. Well, you got a lot of leftover in you all that. Oh, I'm making sauce later. So I'm kind of like dual doing things. A little onion. Mm -hmm. Some scallions, a little tomato, some garlic. I like garlic, so I put a lot. In. Dang. It's just my thing. Um, we're gonna squeeze some fresh lemon. Oh, and wait, what's that? Oh, these are panko Italian breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put that in there. Mm. And now to you know, kind of mold the whole thing together. We're gonna do some egg. Well, All right, so we have everything. So now we're, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna use my hands. I have washed them, just so you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna make this into a little mixture here. Do a little salt and pepper for me. A little salt, pepper, how do I know how much? That's how I'm Just gonna mold them into shape and then we're gonna put them in the fridge for 10 minutes to let them set. That's that. How perfect is that? And here's Bailey. Bailey, you, know you want a fish? She'll eat it. She likes anything. She's like a garbage. You want a mini one? So that was it. We cooked them up. <laughs> they came out really, really good. So I'm going to recommend you get out there, catch some puffer, catch some uh, some spring whiting, <laughs> and make yourself some fish burgers. Get out there. Yeah.